Ooh, it's so cold. I sculpting my face because I see people doing it on TikTok. <laughs> they say it's better for your acne, wrinkles, just the skin overall. <laughs> so cold. Which I used to do this like every morning actually and I thought it did a really good job on my skin. I thought it was actually very nice. I don't know why I stopped doing it. Um, I guess I just got lazy. <laughs> yeah, it feels really good and it actually does wake me up quite a bit. Oh my god, it is so cold. I'm literally so tired this morning. Well, I say this morning, it's 2 p.m. <sighs> my birthday, so yeah. You know what would help my tiredness that I just remembered is iced coffee. Actually, it wasn't that great because I actually brushed my teeth like five seconds ago, so it's a little gross, but I'll get over it. <laughs> Anyways, you all seen that it is my birthday. Yesterday was my birthday, but yesterday was Friday and we had pizza and cake and just hung out with my family. So it was more like relaxed little birthday. But today is Saturday and Cody wants to take us out to dinner and possibly go like shopping and stuff, you know? This is what we're working with. My hair is wild. Let's put her back. <laughs> So the first step, well actually let me zoom you back in. The first step to getting ready is doing our makeup. And I am using my Makeup by Mario products and I think I figured out how to use the like blush and the contour and you know, all that stuff. You don't use the brush that it comes with. <laughs> so also for today's video, not only is it me getting ready for my birthday, um, it is also gonna be kind of sort of an eye makeup tutorial because in my Makeup by Mario review, which was now like two videos ago, um, a lot of you all really wanted to see how I did my eye makeup in that, which I was very surprised because to be honest, I didn't think my eye makeup looked that good. Um, but there has been a few little things that I've implemented into my eye makeup routine that I am going to share with you all because you all seem to notice it and really like it. So that made me happy. Thank you. <laughs> so what's been going on in your all's lives? How was work? How was school? How's the fam <laughs> and your friends? You know, all that regular small talk kind of thing, I guess. I have no idea where we're going out to eat tonight. I kind of, I don't know why, but Cheesecake Factory is like really sticking into my mind. <laughs> <laughs> like I really want Cheesecake Factory, but also this is the weekend before Valentine's Day and I have not made a reservation and our Cheesecake Factory gets like pff, crazy. So I'm thinking that maybe we won't be able to get into Cheesecake Factory. And if that's the case, then I don't know where I want to eat. Okay, here's a contour stick. So lately I have been um, plotting her here, you know, like any regular contour a little higher than like the actual divot of my cheekbone, whatever that is, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know anything. <laughs> and then I put some on my forehead right there. Okay, perfect. That's all I do because I think whenever I try to put it on like my chin and stuff, also I don't know why she looks like this. I don't know what happened to her, but like she's really gunky now and like, I don't know, it's like the container like got fudged up on her. She doesn't look right, but <laughs> nonetheless. I don't know what I was talking about before that, but I got a little distracted. <laughs> but instead of using a sponge like I did originally after trying like the brush it comes with, um, I flipped this brush over to the bigger side because it said this was good for blending. So I've been using her and I just kind of like blot her. I try not to drag it because I still think that she kind of picks up that um, foundation that I just put down. So I try not to drag it. I just, I just dab it. Okay, and there we go. The contour is done. She looks so gorge. I'm already tired. I don't know why, but I've just been tired lately. Like I just can't get enough energy whatsoever. As my iced coffee is like sitting here, not been drunk. All right, what's my next step? Concealer. Concealer, elf. Okay, now I'm gonna take the smaller end of that brush it's like a ginormous buzzard flying outside in the window. And I'm going to use that to then blend my concealer out. 
no more beauty blenders for me. I don't know, it's so weird. I've used a beauty blender since like 2015. That's probably true. That was like accurate information. That was weird. Don't know where that came out of my head from, but. Before the beauty blender, I would use, um, I had bought like a, um, a foundation brush, but it was like a really, really cheap one. And she didn't look so, she didn't do a good job. I'll be honest, so. And then before that, I just used my hands. <laughs> okay, look at that, ooh, snatched. Now we're gonna use the blush. And we're gonna do a little dabby dabby. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? And this is gonna be the first time trying because it's like taking off. I don't know why it does this, it's so annoying. But it's like taking off. So I'm gonna, I just did that. <laughs> okay, wait, I just did something. It's probably not anything new. I'm sure people do that like all the time, but. Ow! So lately I've been wanting to focus my blush like, okay, so I seen this video talking about one, Kylie Jenner's like blush and I always think her face makeup looks so pretty. And they said that like she puts the found or the blush like right under the pupil, you know, and like on the high part of the cheek. So I've been kind of doing that, but also kind of taking it all the way up to my eye because I noticed the new trend is to have pink under eyes. Like it's like they put pink uh, like concealer and then use like the pink setting powder under their eyes and Some people don't like that look, but I think it looks so good and it's also kind of like a color correcting too for me I feel Just wait because when I put the translucent <laughs> Translucent powder on top of it. It like, you know, doesn't look so harsh. Oh my god Yeah, I just discovered a new technique of how to put my blush on This is amazing Oh my God, I'm obsessed. <gasps> okay, gorgeous. All right, so I think that's it for like all the creams. So I'm going to set it with setting spray. Cause I see everyone say to set all the liquids first or the creams first and then go in with all the powders. I just do what the TikTok people tell me to. <laughs> I think I will continue using like a little beauty blender to put the uh, powder on under my eyes just because I think it kind of makes that area look so much nicer than if I was to go in with a brush. Now that we did the translucent in our, you know, the center of our face, I am now going to take my colored one, which is literally back on. And I'm gonna take that around like the edges to set just the rest of it a little bit. Okay, after what seemed like forever on my eyebrows, it is now to finally do our eyes. And I'm taking this NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette, and I will be taking this shade right here, which is kind of like a, uh, I don't know, like a cream color or like a very pale uh, nude color for, for me. And I'm gonna put that right under my brow and kind of like drag it down so it's almost like a, a base for the rest of it. Then I'm gonna take this color right here, which is kind of like a dusty rose, I would say. Um, and that's gonna go in our crease. Okay, and then we're gonna take this color right here. It's almost like a, um, like a rust color. Would be the best way I could describe it. <laughs> and we're gonna put that on the outer corner. Okay, like literally just this outside. I know it looks a little crazy right now, but just the outside and then um, across the crease a little bit. See that? <laughs> and then I also put it in the inner corner right here, or like this inner part of your eyelid. There you go. So like the key is to have this part in the center of your eye be really light and then have it fade into these darker parts of your lid because I watched a YouTube, I think it was a YouTube video, or maybe a TikTok, I don't know, something a really long time ago. And it was saying that this technique like makes your eyes look bigger. So that's what I have been doing lately. And um, like what I did in the Makeup by Mario video, I'm just gonna kind of like blend this outer corner out a little bit more so it's not so harsh. There you go, that looks like pretty good, you know. <laughs> I'm not a perfectionist or anything. I almost feel like this has weirdly turned into a Valentine's Day makeup look. 
with like kind of this reddish pink thing going on, but that's okay because we are a Valentine's Day baby. So it's birthday and Valentine's Day together. <laughs> okay, now I'm taking this other NYX um, Ultimate Shadow Palette. It's a more colorful one and I'm going to take this very shimmery pink right here um, and we're just gonna put that right in that center spot that we didn't put the rust color on the lid. Then we can kind of blend it out with our finger just a little bit on the edges. But mainly focus it right there where we left a space for her to go. Oh, I still gotta do my freaking hair. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, um, eyeliner time. So as you all know, I always do a wing, like just a traditional, you know, classic wing or whatever. But I used to, I say used to, like it was literally like last week, but um, lately what I've been doing differently is that before I would take like the eyeliner all the way across the lid and then do like a big wing. But lately I've been trying not to put too much eyeliner on the center here and just focusing like on doing a big wing and then an inner corner moment, you know? Uh, so that's what we are going to do now. <laughs> So the first step is to take your little felt eyeliner pencil and place it where you want your wing to be, which I tend to kind of follow like the eyeshadow that I had placed out. Okay, something has gone awry. I did my eyeliner. I almost had a mental breakdown over it, which they are not perfect, but um, they look okay. So as you all can see, I focused mainly on the outside and then I didn't put very much eyeliner at all, like across here. And then I did a little inner corner, so. That's all I can do because I'm literally gonna throw a fit with it. I think the eyeliner that I've been using is about to go out. So that did not help matters in trying to make these bad boys even, so. Okay, now it's time to put a thin layer of mascara on. And this is where, well, lately I, I go through phases where I'm like, oh, like my makeup looks actually really pretty without putting on big false eyelashes. Um, so sometimes I stop at the mascara step and then other times I'm like, oh my God, I need to do something, so. Okay, and then I lightly put some on the bottom lashes. Okay, and like sometimes, you know, that is enough for me. Sometimes I'm like, oh wow, that looks like so cute. And like, I wanna show off like the eyeshadow a little more, um, but I think maybe today I'll put some falsies on. Well, I don't know. Should I wear an eyelash or no eyelash? Mm -hmm. Go with the eyelash. Okay. It pops. Okay. okay, while we wait for our lashes to be ready, I am going to do my lips. Okay, so I just put on my lashes because Cody said that we should be wearing lashes. And this next step, I want to show you all that I've been doing differently with my eyes that I think some of you all noticed from my Makeup by Mario video is that I take white eyeliner and I place it, here, let me like zoom you all in some. I place it like right underneath where I put that inner corner eyeliner like that, right in that area there. Um, and I kinda, kinda sort of drag it like that way some, just like that. And then I also take some like, whoops, it's kinda hard to see cause I'm like looking in the viewfinder, but I kinda take this corner here, my outer corner, and I bring some out. Did I fudge that up? Probably. I kind of like to drag it out right there because it kind of cleans up the eyeliner that I did. And sometimes I rub it a little bit with like my finger because I don't like it to look too stark, like too white. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've been doing <laughs> differently lately. Okay, so here's our birthday makeup. Now I need to do my hair and pick an outfit like very, very quickly because I actually have my friends waiting outside <laughs> for me to, um, Hurry up. All right, so I picked out my outfit. This is what she looks like. I also did my hair. And I'm wearing these black satin pants. You all have probably seen them before. And my black boots, because we're gonna be walking around the mall. And I'm also wearing this top, which is like a white long sleeve with this faux leather tank top on the top. I don't know. I just kind of feel like a leather black, like, I don't know, a little biker-esque or something. <laughs> for my birthday, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. But I do know that I have to hurry. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter. So cute, like right on the roots. I get glitter all over my face. Gorgeous. <laughs> 
Okay, now I just need to pick out a coat, which is probably going to be very fast and probably very simple, and my backpack purse. And we're good to go for my birthday dinner and shopping. So, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and all that good stuff, because I'm up here every single Wednesday doing something. <laughs> and you don't want to miss it so um yeah i love you so proud of you yours person what you do every day and yeah i'll see you all next time bye